Welcome to the Two Girls and Plants podcast with your hosts, Shannon Summers and Adrian Craig. This is a casual, fun show to talk about all things health, whole foods plant-based, and making nourishing lifestyle changes. Your hosts will explore a variety of benefits that can be found with plants, both inside and out. Shannon and Adrian will teach you how to advocate for your health with courage, confidence, and a little laughter. You'll leave empowered with natural and sustainable options to set you up for success in discovering your bio-individuality. The Two Girls and Plants podcast starts now. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Two Girls and Plants. I'm Adrienne Craig, and I'm joined by my friend and co-host, Shannon Summers. Our passion is to help you transform your health and your life, and we're here to help you nourish yourself inside and out. Today, Shannon's going to kick us off. She's going to share what we're going to be talking about, and she's going to introduce our very special guest. Thank you, Adrian. So we're going to discuss functional medicine today. Functional medicine is a personalized and integrative approach to healthcare that addresses the root causes of chronic diseases, rather than the conventional model of just treating the symptoms. It prescribes a holistic and personalized plan. Functional medicine practitioners dive deep into the patient's history and biochemistry and ask why this patient is ill. It is a highly personalized and often includes detailed analysis of an individual's genetic makeup. Today, we are welcoming to our show a woman who is near and dear to my heart and has been a part of my autoimmune journey for around six years now. She has incredible bedside manner She is kind, intuitive, brilliant, compassionate, and patient. Dr. Barbara Maddox is a doctor of oriental medicine and the founder of North Point Medicine. She is a registered nurse and also a cardiovascular nurse specialist for 40 years. She is the first board certified functional medicine physician in the state of New Mexico. She has a unique approach to evaluating and healing her patients. And I will let her explain more about that. So please welcome Dr. Maddox. I am so glad to be here. Thank you for that wonderful introduction, Shannon. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) And you've been a part of my learning journey for the last six years because my patients are my tablet, my learning. Yes. The majority of my patients do have autoimmune disease and inflammatory diseases. And I've discovered through the years that not only does this healing occur by, we do get to the root cause and the changes we make have to do with what they eat, what they drink, how they move and what they think. And that is what you bathe your genes in to change the outcomes of what you're experiencing. And that is my functional medicine approach. The functional medicine matrix, which is a tool that we as clinicians use, has mental, emotional, and spiritual health in the center of it. I turned that into a heart and my signature program will be the heart of functional medicine. And then I also discovered that without working on those aspects and enhancing your spiritual and soul healing, you don't get as well as you could and you continue to have flares. So that was the impetus for the heart of functional medicine, spiritual and soul healing. And that introduction will be offered tomorrow. Yes, we're gonna talk a little bit about that later too. Um, why in your words, uh, being a functional medicine doctor, why would somebody seek functional medicine out versus the standard, uh, Western that we're used to? Because most, many of my patients come having seen five doctors, six doctors. I want to be the last doctor they have to see. Mm -hmm. And I am going to look at their genetic factors their 
lifestyle factors that we just talked about and their environmental exposures in order to get to the root of their illness and their health challenges. And so once you know that, you can prescribe a unique healing protocol. And that's what I do. Okay. And acupuncture is a huge part of that for many reasons. It creates balance as we're trying to unravel what happened. How did you get here? Definitely so. Um, acupuncture is kind of what led me to you to begin with. And it was something I had never tried. You know, I was scared, like crazy scared. And you stood behind me and just put a couple needles in to let me know you're going to be okay. <laughs> so yeah. it ended up being a huge part of uh, my healing journey and a part of my maintenance. Well, acupuncture is energy medicine and we are all energy. And so the techniques, the therapeutic techniques that I hope to teach in my program are include, how do you change that energy into a healing energy? And it does have to do with what you think, what you eat, what you drink and how you move, but you have to heal all aspects of yourself. Mm -hmm. So, and you can affect that the most if you implement breath work, guided imagery, an enhanced spiritual connection, uh, whatever that may be. Um, and breath work to clear your energy centers, the chakras. And so that is what guided me into doing, offering my program. And I, I also teach yoga, restorative yoga, meditation, um, all of these fabulous therapeutic techniques are going to help you center, ground, figure out who you are so you feel empowered enough to heal whatever your health challenges are. Yeah. So. Yeah. I love what you're saying, Dr. Maddox. You know, I've been curious, and I don't know if as a medical professional you have an opinion on this, but I find it very interesting, you know, if you research, you know, Eastern Oriental medicines, those are like the oldest medicines in the world. And it, and it does focus on, you know, the holistic being, mind, body, spirit. Do you have any opinion on how within traditional Western medicine, we moved away from that philosophy on the individual and how we started to break everything up into separate um, parts of the human? Um, have you yeah. thought about it all? <laughs> you know, it's a really good idea about. how that happened. Um, if you don't, it's okay. It was just something back, I'm in, uh, back in the 19 teens and early 1920s two gentlemen purchased some chemical companies in Philadelphia, which have now become pharmaceutical companies. And they went to each of the five medical schools in Philadelphia. One was a surgical hospital at the University of Pennsylvania. Hahnemann was a homeopathic hospital. Um, Jefferson was a naturopathic hospital. Uh, what used to be woman's med was an osteopathic hospital, but they went to each and every one of them and offered them huge amounts of money if they would teach in their schools how and use, if they have pain, give them Tylenol. If they have high blood pressure, here's an antihypertensive. If they have, and so these medical schools which for many, many years trained 20% of this country's medical doctors, that I mean, there were five medical schools in Philadelphia and many states didn't even have any. And so that's how the pharmaceutical industry um, became the driving force in education. And so as the young MDs learned about arthritis, they also learned about the drug to treat it. As they learned about indigestion, they learned about the drug to treat it. As they learned about, and in my opinion, 
that is what led us away from the physician using their intuition, their hands-on diagnostics, feeling an abdomen, checking pulses in the neck, feet, you know, hands-on. And that's my opinion of how we slid away from that. And thank you for that. That's fascinating. Like I said, something I've been pondering for a while. Well, and at the same time, because that became the focus, um, they were not teaching medical doctors about nutrition yeah. and about deep breathing and stretching and walking and yoga and et cetera, et cetera. And in the meantime, our food industry went nuts yeah. too. Yes. So anyway. That's her brilliant side. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, so with somebody needing everything healed, it kind of reminds me of when somebody thinks all I have to do is lose 50 pounds, then everything's better. And then they lose the 50 pounds and there's still a need to have other parts of them to heal in order to make them feel whole. When the initial thought is, I just have to lose 50 pounds and everything's going to be fixed. Um, the functional medicine reminds me of that because you go in, I went in personally thinking, oh yeah, she's just going to fix me and it's going to be okay. More with like a Western medicine, I think frame of mind and realized on my journey with you that there's so many more layers and levels to that. Um, I'm thankful that it's coming, I guess it's more common now and it's, um, you know, functional medicine, functional nutrition, all of it is coming to the forefront more so we can have uh, more healing for everyone because it's definitely needed out there, especially this day and age. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's for sure. And my unique approach, also, and you reminded me of it, I spent close to 30 years at the bedside as an ICU nurse, a cardiovascular nurse specialist, etc. And so my feet are really well grounded in the Western world. Mm -hmm. And then I slid my oriental medicine lens in place when I went to medical school. And I was looking through those lenses and the oriental medicine looks at the interrelationship of organ systems mm -hmm. and how they were balanced. And you're right, Adrian, they started doing bamboo shoots in different places 5,000 years ago to stop a cough, to stop whatever. And that's how they created it all. And with Henry Kissinger and Nixon's visit in the seventies, that's what brought acupuncture and oriental medicine to the United States. Mm -hmm. And right here in New Mexico were the first acupuncture schools. And that was fascinating. And then my personal journey, my personal health was challenged with chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, cancer, uh, severe old trauma. And I became a functional medicine junkie. And I went to every functional meeting, workshop, weekend, whatever I could get to for the first, oh my goodness, starting in 2000, because I was so ill, nobody here knew what to do. I went to one doctor and um, he said, you know, Barbara, you're doing a pretty good job taking care of yourself. Why don't you just keep doing what you're doing and pretend you didn't come in here today? And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and that's when I became a functional medicine junkie. And that's, I learned what I needed to do for myself, which then of course translated to my patients, mm -hmm. what I needed to eat, what I needed to drink, how much exercise, and most of all, what I needed to think. And so I look through three lenses, yeah. Western, Oriental, and functional medicine as I evaluate a patient and try to bring them, you know, modalities that are unique for them, that will work for them to help them heal to help them feel empowered. I'll guide them, I'll support them, but they have to do the work. Yeah. And 
it's easier. I, I can't even tell you how many patients say, I walk around in the grocery store or wherever saying, WWBS, what would Barbara say? <laughs> as, they're, as they're shopping for groceries or <laughs> no sugar <laughs> I love that um I wanted to mention we are actually lucky to have you on our podcast today because you are offering a free workshop that anybody can attend tomorrow. So it's great timing. Um, the workshop, it, workshop, excuse me, is an introduction to spiritual and soul healing for inflammatory and autoimmune disease. Um, would you like to tell them how they can sign up for that, Dr. Maddox? Uh, yes. Um, oh my goodness. There's several ways. There is, first of all, let me give you my website and it's North Point with an E on the end, med.com. And at the bottom of every page is a little F for Facebook. And if you click on that F, it will take you to my Facebook group, Functional Medicine Collective, Make Self Care a Habit. It will be done in there with Zoom. We're, we're, we're going to try to Zoom, stream Zoom into the website or into the group. And there is a link to sign up. All you need is first name, email, and then they will send you the Zoom link. Okay. If for some reason that gets tangled up, go to the group, ask to join the group, and we'd love to have you join us tomorrow, noon to two. That is fun. I'm looking forward to it. Um, and then lastly, if you want to just take a couple minutes, uh, Dr. Maddox does have a uh, package, a functional medicine package that is available um, if you would like to work with her. So if you want to share how they can find that and a bit about your package for a couple minutes, that would be great too. Okay. Um, I spoke to you earlier. I was getting so many calls a day, people wanting to be my new functional medicine patient. I was booking out more than three months. There's just no way I could see people one-to-one. -one. So I created a virtual signature program that I've worked on for the last year. And it launches actually September 8th. And it is on the very front page of the website, the home page northpointmed.com. If you click on that red link that says function, the heart of functional medicine, spiritual and soul healing, it takes you to a very long page that describes everything I'll be teaching in there. And it's going to help you heal your autoimmune disease, inflammatory disease, because we're going to get to the root of leaky gut, what's causing your fatigue or your headaches or your joint pain or your inflammation that manifests as skin lesions or lupus or whatever. And we're gonna get to that and we're gonna infuse spiritual and soul healing so that the heart of functional medicine, that mental, emotional and spiritual health can be healed and you will feel empowered. You will learn ways that you can heal and support yourself. I'm here to guide you and support you, but you're gonna have to do the work. You're gonna have to take the responsibility. You're gonna have to be accountable. It'll be 12 weeks long. There'll be a Zoom every Saturday. Um, the curriculum is just dense with fabulous learning material. And once you sign up, you'll have access to that. You'll get a leather bound journal. There'll be a specific Facebook group, the Heart of Functional Medicine Tribe that you'll be a member of if you've registered for the course. Uh, we'll be doing meditation. There'll be bonus sessions of yoga. I'm so excited about it. I can hardly. <laughs> <laughs> it's a one-stop shop, you guys. And I can attest to how wonderful she is. <laughs> so anyway, no, I'd love to have you. And um there are links on there to book Calendly calls. So you can talk to me if you have any more questions and if you wanna make sure this is right for you. So we're just posting some extra ones so I can talk to you if you want to. 
That is wonderful. Thank you. I'm going to okay. turn it over to Adrienne and we'll kind of sum things up. Yeah, I also want to thank you, Dr. Maddox. It was amazing to meet you today and loved hearing your insights. And I think you raised a really important point that, you know, while, while you can guide people, it's the same thing Shan and I do with coaching. We can guide people, but if they're not willing to do the work, then they're not going to get the results and the healing either yeah. that they want it all or as quickly as they want it. So thanks for um, highlighting that again with us today. Uh, we're going to get ready to go into our live audience experience. And this is where we dig deeper. Our listeners um, join us and can interact with us in more detail. They can get on the spot coaching, ask their burning questions. And you just need to select the join now button when the time comes and you can meet us in the breakout room. As for Shannon and I, we thank uh, our listeners for joining us today. We're here every second and fourth Friday of the month at 12 p.m. Eastern. No, I always get that wrong. <laughs> 12 p.m. Pacific. I'm 3 p.m. Eastern. And you can um, catch us on YouTube. You can either watch us live on Facebook or you can replay us on your favorite podcast station. But um, we're so thankful that you joined us today and we just want you to remember that it is possible to nourish your life inside and out. Yes. Thank you for joining Shannon and Adrian on the Two Girls and Plants podcast where you're finding nourishment inside and out. You're invited to continue finding empowerment with natural and sustainable options every second and fourth Friday of the month at 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. To learn more or find out how to work with Shannon and Adrian, visit TwoGirlsAndPlants.com.